Palazzo de Simoni Hall of Honor, with a Baroque-style stucco-decorated ceiling, offers significant works of art, as well as portraits of the original owners of the building, furnishings and paintings. Luigi Castiglioni's graphic works, rich in symbolism, successfully coexist with the antique collections. Sacred objects are characteristic elements of the noble halls, paintings, reliquaries, vestments, furniture, fabrics and fine furnishings. The frescoed rooms present vaults decorated in a delicate Baroque style. Fake cornices and architectural elements sustain cascades of flowers, fruit and plant motifs. One of the rooms also houses the portrait of Saint Rainerius, the work of Francesco Hayes. The war section not only exhibits weapons, but also objects that belong to soldiers catapulted into war against cold and ice at an altitude of 3,000 meters. Among the preserved frescoes, the one depicting St. Cecilia surprising, a fragment dating back to the 12th century, rich in references to the figurative culture of Lombardy and beyond. The walled and fortified city of Bormio is the backdrop to this 15th century crucifix, fortuitously found in the old People's Council Hall, probably the work of the painter Menico Aniesi. Stoneworks of different types and origins will intrigue the visitor. Among these remains the prehistoric millstones and a copy of the pre-Roman stele found in Bormio last century stand out. Statues and furnishings give us an insight of wood artists who skillfully exploited and shaped the material, making it vital. The so-called Madonna del Sottotetto is a fascinating example of a fully articulated statue which could be dressed. Music culture is represented in the form of antique instruments, among which a Wapaterni forte piano and some wind instruments which belong to the Bormio Philharmonic. Gianluigi Giudici's sculptures highlight a taste for creativity and the pleasure of transforming matter into forms that often evolve towards the abstract. The ex voto expressions of popular religiosity are lively snapshots of the daily life of the past. They speak of difficulties, illnesses, accidents and faith in the thermaturgical crucifix kept in the church of Sant'Antonio Abate. <laughs>